all right what's up everybody this is alex from x trades and welcome back to another educational video this will be a nice quick video on easy support and resistance levels for day trading we're going to go over the open range breakout strategy and also go over just marking your previous day range to carry over into the next day for day trading and it's really simple and it's just like an easy trick to go about these levels work really good for scalping and really just if you have no time to chart on the higher time frames and spend all this time looking for key levels this is a quick and easy way Way to just kind of let the market do what it does the first 30 minutes and also the day prior and then go ahead and mark your levels so the first one we'll go over is going to be the open range breakout and i wanted to just show you real quick how to draw it obviously all it is is just marking your first 30 minute candle so we're on the 30 minute time frame so that's our high for the open range breakout candle and then we also mark the low so we have our low right here and our high right here and as you can see once price gets over that open range high really nice breakout also get a back test later in the day and this is actually live right now markets about to close in 15 minutes so i just wanted to show you that you know even to this day right now as we speak you can definitely use this strategy and help it kind of help you scalp and day trade you can really see how well it works on the shorter term time frames as well we'll go down to the five minute real quick so this was our 30 minute high and our 30 minute low and you can see the back test back test really nice run right there also another back test later in the day really nice bounce right there and then obviously with risk or stop loss there's a couple ways to go about it you can keep it just slightly under the line so if you went long when this broke out you could probably keep it just like briefly under so you don't get tagged out like this maybe keep it in the middle or you can keep it at the open range low if you have more of a risk appetite but if you're trading like zero days and shorter day stuff you might need a tighter stop or just use premiums as a stop loss for options so yeah i just want to show you how to draw it real quick and we'll go ahead and get into some more examples we'll also cover previous day ranges carrying over into your next session and how you can day trade with those so i hope that made sense for you guys guys now we're going to go ahead and get into my keynote or my slideshow today we're going to cover the open range breakout with more examples and then also go over previous day ranges all that good stuff so maybe you can lose less and also have a little bit more edge in the market so you don't end up like this guy <laughs> So for our examples, we're going to be going over mainly QQQ because the volatility is so good. And obviously, if you master one thing at trading or at least try to master one ticker, you can definitely branch out. But I definitely recommend kind of getting good at one ticker and whatever is working for you the best, stick to that. So just like the live example I showed you, we mark our open range high. We mark our open range low. You can see the 30 minute breaks down right here. We get a back test of the general area and it breaks down even more. So obviously, you would have went short or bought puts on this example. You could have also waited for it to come back and back test went short at that area as well bought puts whatever you got to do either way this is a bearish open range break down which is a little bit different and you would have wanted to have puts on this or at least you know going short stock same thing for this example we have the open range high open range low like i said it's your first 30 minute bar it's as simple as that you wait for the first 30 minutes of trading and then you mark your level and sometimes the first 30 minutes is still waiting for a direction to get formed anyways and a lot of people will wait that first 30 minutes to go ahead and mark their level and you can see this breakdown is really nice this would have printed massively and then just a huge reversal later in the day back up into the range but this is really good if you're trying to trade the first hour and then get out which i like to do if i get one good trade in i'm done for the day i don't overdo it or anything if i stop out once i'll try one more time and then if i stop out twice i put it up for the day and a lot of people have seen that in the discord and the community if i get stopped out twice you probably won't see another one from me unless it's like a longer day to swing trade or something so yeah this is a good first hour kind of strategy to go about it's a really easy support and resistance to kind of mark that way you're not having to do too much with charting and spending all these hours mapping out key levels and stuff and here's example number three the cool thing about this this is all like in a row right this is all back to back you have a nice breakdown another nice breakdown and then we have another nice one right here so you can definitely use this strategy for multiple days in a row so yeah open range high open range low breakdown kind of a back test of the general area you didn't tap it directly but that is kind of a bear flag to lead to another leg down and overall just a really good short or put trade right there all right on to some upside examples so just like the first clip i showed you where we drew it live open range high open range low confirmed breakout that sets you up for a nice melt up on the day you got open range high open range low you can see market very stuck and this is why you wait for a break you want to wait for it to get out of this and that first 30 minutes is a really good kind of indicator to tell you when the market's ready to break down or break higher once again open range high 
open range low you have a really big fake out a really big bounce you could even go long once they reclaim this to scalp because this is like almost like two dollars to the upside this is two dollars to the downside as well these are really big swings so you could use this open range low as support to kind of scalp to the upside as well obviously if you went short here you could have used this open range high as a stop loss as well and you wouldn't have hit that stop loss yet and it crashed later in the day so your entry right here would have came with a little bit of drawdown obviously you would have been red because it came all the way up here but then it broke down later in the day you could have went short you would stop out once it got maybe to here at this spot flipped long went for a call scalp whatever you got to do i mean there's a couple ways to go about it you can use it to kind of day trade off the range you can use it for breakdowns you can use it for breakouts whatever you do just make sure you have a plan and then obviously you could uh enter later down here for a nice short as well this would have paid a lot and then once again open range high open range low really nice breakout this would have paid a lot open range high open range low you have price staying within so this would have been a nice scalp day you have a bounce off the open range low right here back up to the open range high could have went short back down to there went long again down here rips back up to the upside so that's just your first 30 minute candle with price staying within that and here's kind of a botched example you have a open range high open range low you have price breaking out really not going back within but not really going anywhere either so this can happen you might get days like this so just be prepared and don't expect every single open range breakout to hold don't expect every open range breakdown to break down either all right on to previous day high and low it's really as simple as that this is our previous day we wait for the whole day to trade we mark the previous day high we mark the previous day low and that carries over into our next day so the next session we're paying attention to 439.24 and 436.28 so here's a qqq breakout it kind of goes back within but then we see a 30 minute candle holding very strong here this is a back test of sorts and that sets up for a really big move to the upside so it's as simple as that marking your previous day high marking your previous day low and then for the open range breakout you're marking your first 30 minute candle high first 30 minute candle low and you can see actually uh, if you mark the 30 minute high and the 30 minute low right here that sets you up for an orb breakout to the upside once again previous day high just right here previous day low here's your next session these dots are what separate the sessions so you can see clearly really nice support you could uh scalp this to the upside that's from 424 up to 428 there it's about four dollars on options this would pay a lot this is a really nice reversal same thing to the downside nice little put scalp you could have taken on the breakdown here obviously it got a little bit choppy here but overall 424.90 down to 423 almost two dollars so that could have paid you nice on puts for a scalp once again previous day high previous day low carries over into the next day we have a previous day high rejection really aggressive price target obviously back to previous day low so you would have sold right here you have a late day scalp once we reclaim previous day low sets up nice even another test right here at previous day low for a really big rip up from 439 to 442 it's about three dollars really nice scalp to the upside there but likewise for the downside really nice scalp to the downside all you have to do is mark your previous day high previous day low simple as that once again previous day high previous day low here's our new session a big rejection hits your previous day low right here and then even goes as far as flushing the previous day low right here very aggressively so that's another trade on its own from previous day high down to previous day low and then a previous day low flush down to a new level you'd have to find a new level to the left of you once again previous day low previous day high we have a previous day low flush right here really nice downside from 429 to 425 about another four points to the downside again would have paid very nice on puts even comes back up for a back test of the general area didn't tap it directly but rejects again so for this to go bullish it would have to get back over 429 or previous day low once again previous day low previous day high right at the session open we have a previous day low flush sells off the whole day you could have even marked the first 30 minute candle for the or be strategy 30 minute candle high 30 minute candle low this is your breakdown bar and it sold off all day so yeah that's all my examples guys hope you guys enjoyed this video it's nice and quick it's very easy like i said make sure you mark your previous day high and low and then also mark your first 30 minute candle high and low so that's how you find easy support and resistance for day trading hope you guys enjoyed i'm gonna go ahead and get it chopped up sent out and uploaded i love you and i'm out
There's a reason why Xtrades is currently the fastest growing application on the market for sharing financial ideas. With over $2.5 million paid in the last two years to contributors, users are flocking to see what trades the top traders on the leaderboard are sharing in real time. If you're looking to grow your reputation as a trader on the internet or discuss your trading ideas with other reputable investors, click the link below and get connected with a trading mentor today, completely free of charge.